So our last race on day two of the National Hunt is going to be race 26, the Master Smudge Maiden Chase. As we wait for the runners and riders to be put together, this is all the things a race runner has to do, should anybody want to do it. So we're going to Ludlow, you pick your course, we change whether it's over the fences or hurdles. The going's going to be good to soft. Is it heavy at Ludlow? Oh, it's heavy. Okay, I think it's a maiden, it is. You would tag maiden. Maybe this is a, a practice lesson for all those who want to take that up. So the three miles and two furlongs. So maybe there's a few gold cup horses in here. We may well find out. There's a few first timers. We wait for the title to be added here. National Hunt, week seven, race 26, and let's see if they spell it right first time. Here we go. Master Smudge, S-M-U-D-G-E, <laughs> Maiden. <laughs> yeah, they've done it well, they haven't made a mistake. I had to go back. Oh, a bit of a pause looking for the H there. Anyway, so that's the mountain chase. What about select eligible runners or eligible runners? Who knows? We're all ready to rock and roll. So here we go. The Master Smudge Maiden Chase over three miles and two furlongs. And the runners are as follows. Agent of the Free for Pedro Hogan, first time out. Alex Cherry's Arctic Watch. Senchi Aerodynamic for Vinnie Gerard, looking to follow up from his win in the last. Empire Central for Stu Gray. Far Away Sugar for Daniel French. Pontypool Racing's a long term project. Alex Cherry's a Marathon Messiah. John Morgan's River Tarquin. Stu Gray's Amorous Scarlet. Vinnie Gerard's El Villar Prompt. David Hooley's Good Queen. And Shatara makes up 12 for John Morgan. Three miles and two furlongs. They're racing. Just start on a bit of a turn here, so a couple of them are a little bit. Uh, oh, in fact, those two just at the rear is Amaris Scarlet, and I think Il Villar prompt possibly. Just got a little bit caught just as we went round that bend. So as they go through the first furlong or so, come down to the first of the 22 jumps I'll have to take. It's the two John Morgan horses leading us. We've got Tarquin and Shatara. We're chasing back all together. One of them right over by the fences. Long-term projects. They get to the first. The leaders are over it. Everybody clears it. Safe enough here in heavy conditions. A bit of a bog. Go over the second. They all make that. The one that really hit the ground hard was Marathon Messiah. Just lost a little bit of momentum. The third, the ditch. We'll clear that well. The River Tarquin and Shatara are the ones that lead us into the fourth. Oh, and he's gone. Shatara's gone. Didn't even really make stood off of it well. It's a fall up, and that's left River Tarquin on his own. To the fifth. So they will skip over, of course, it's the water. And go on out for another circuit at least. Another two and a half miles, and it's River Tarquin. Probably six lengths to far away sugar. And Senchi Aerodynamic. Green silks. And wide from that is Empire Central, I think. And his inside is probably Il Villar Prompt. Against the fence is Great Clutchbuck's long term project. A couple of Alex Cherry's horses, Arctic Watch and a Marathon Messiah. And the yellow silks just stuck right in the middle there of Agent of the Free. River Tarquin leads them on out. Down this back straight. These three fences to get to the first. Takes it well. Clear that. Down to the next. No mistakes there. River Tarquin leads them to the eighth. No mistake there this time, I think, by Amorous. I'll let hit the top of it. Shuffles back, been racing sort of, I suppose, ten wide, we would say, because they seem like they're a little bit off the rail, maybe five or six. They get to this small ditch. We'll skip over that, including Amorous Scarlet this time, much better jump. Marathon Messiah is uh, having to be hurried along a couple of times, on and off the bit. 
again this amorous secret really going wide, along with Elville our prompt, I suggest. Losing probably half our length and over three miles and two furlongs. You don't really want to add to your race. But River Tarquin leads now from Senchi Aerodynamic, who just takes a little hold as they're getting closer to this leader now. His advantage is probably down to three lengths. That one shuffles back and allowed Arctic Watch and Good Queen just to overtake him. A couple pecking on landing at the end of that one. Empire Central and Marathon Messiah. River Tarquin still leads. Get over the next. So we're just the one fall up. The rest have all managed to stay on their feet. But it's River Tarquin over the plate one. Oh, and we've lost a second. This Empire Central. Kiss of death there. Another fall up. Kiss the death of my own horse. Skip the water. Got a little more slow over that. The one that uh, was slowest was far away sugar. But it's River Tarpon that leads by a couple of lengths back to long term project and Sentiero Dynamic and Good Queen. And Amorous Scarlet, Agent of the Free, Arctic Watch, El Villar Prompt and Far Away Sugar. Marathon Messiah. changing it. There's still only probably ten lengths maybe between first and last, so only ones that are out of it are the two fallers we've had, which have been Empire Central and Shatara, but River Tarquin. There's a couple of horses getting closer all the time, long term project and agent of the free. Then we've got Amorous Scarlet and Senchi Aerodynamic and Good Queen. Their lengths back to El Villar prompt, followed through by Arctic Watch, Marathon Messiah and Far Away Sugar as they take the 16th. So we're getting a bit closer now inside the final seven furlongs. So River Tarquin under a little bit of pressure now. Long term project and agent of the free as they go over the 17th mistake by long term project shuffles in back. Leaves River Tarquin, agent of the free and Amorous Scarlet, a length or so back to Sentiero Dynamic, long term project, Good Queen. Out wide is El Villar prompt, they get to the 18th. They're We'll skip over it, slow jump there, and we lost one far away. Sugar's gone. It was a slow jump by Amorous Scarlet, but River Tarquin still holding them all off from Agent of the Free, Amorous Scarlet, or Villa Prompt going the widest of all. Good Queen, Chenchi Aerodynamic, and Long Term Project is between these. The two Alex Cherry horses got to get a bit of a wiggle on from here, but it's River Tarquin. Here comes Amorous Scarlet, El Villa Prompt, and Good Queen on the inside is Senchi Aerodynamic, Long Term Project, Agent of the Free's finding the this ground a little bit tough to pick up, but it's River Tarquin from Good Queen, Senchi Aerodynamic, El Villa, Prompt, Amorous Scarlet doesn't look like he's got a lot left, so Good Queen's over the last, the third from last, sorry, from Senchi Aerodynamic, River Tarquin's plugging away, mistake there by Good Queen, and Senchi Aerodynamic's got up, Senchi Aerodynamic from Good Queen, River Tarquin, El Villa, Prompt, Agent of the Free as they go over the next, they will clear it, but it's Senchi Aerodynamic, it's Vinny Gerard, one the last, going to take this, gets over the last, takes it well, he's got a five, six, seven length of fives. This horse has gone off hot heels. It's going to be a 140 from the handicapper there. Good six length of fives from Sinchi. Sorry, good queen in second. River Tarquin, I think, and Elville are prompt to fall out, fall out third and fourth. I was just amazed by how well that Sinchi aerodynamic won that race. I wasn't paying much attention to who got up for second. It was David Hooley's good queen. And Vinny also got third with El Villar prompt. He's made a grand entrance into the national hunt. So, Senchi Aerodynamic takes it for Vinny Gerard. Well done, good queen for David Hoodie was second. El Villar prompt also for Vinny got up for third. River Tarkin for John Morgan was fourth. And Agent of Free for Pedrick Hogan was fifth. And we'll see you tomorrow.